Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to be talking to you about the Nameless quest in Witcher 3. So right now I am looking at the uh, lever puzzle, for lack of better words, which is found in Freya's Garden. I'll show you the map location right here. And you'll be encountering this puzzle during the Nameless quest and in Wolf's Clothing quest. Technically these quests are done together, so there's that. So first I'm going to explain how this puzzle works. This little knob you see protruding out of the, uh, the machinery, it will open, uh, well this knob tells you which thing is going to be open. And you can change the knob's location right here with this. You pull this lever and it will change where the knob is. So say I want to open, uh, or let me think of a better way to explain this. Say I want to open the middle passage which leads to the second half of the nameless quest. I put the knob in the middle like you see here and then I hit this lever right here and it opens that sluice gate right there. Now say I want to, I don't want to complete the quest right now, but I want to gather the other quest items I need for the rest of the quest. I move the knob all the way over to the far right and then I hit the lever here and it opens this sluice gate over here. And uh, let me show you my website because I have a write up for this. This right here, you can pause the video if you would like, it tells you what each of the sluice gates do. So the one on the right leads to the padlock key, which is a quest item, a chest, and some info about the werewolf. The middle sluice gate will lead you to Morkvark slash the end of the nameless quest. And then the left uh, sluice gate, that will allow you to exit the garden. And that's really all there is to it. So what I'd actually recommend you do is the right sluice gate first, which is the one we're about to do, and then we'll go up the middle one, which is uh, the one we need to continue with the rest of the quest. So I'm currently going underwater where the right sleuth, sleuth, whatever it's called, gate is right now. So we just have to swim through this cave, and then I'm pretty sure we'll come up into, a, uh, into an area where uh, there's going to be some goodies for us to collect and some quest advancement for us to get. So here's the padlock key in the, uh, whatever of corpses, there's some loot. Bones fell through the crevice years ago. There's moving here. Must be another cave above or way out. So I think technically we're in, we're below the cave that Morgvark, uh, resides in for the most part. Or where you can find him during this quest. And once you get the padlock key, it's just right back to, uh, oops, started swimming into the wall. It's right back to where we were originally at the, uh, the lever puzzle. And then we would go up the middle, uh, the middle sluice gate, aka move, we'll move the lever into the middle or the little wooden, whatever you want to call it, into the middle. And then we will, uh, open the middle gate. So let's do that real fast. We have to pull the lever twice since it was all the way over to the right. We need to get it into the middle. Now it's in the middle. And now we open this sluice gate with the other le uh, lever. That sluice gate opens. And we go up the middle. Continue with uh, the nameless slash whatever uh, in Wolf's clothing quest. Pretty short in this building is a uh... symbol of Freya. No sign of feeding. Markvog doesn't devour his victims. Strange. It's good. It always grows back. Starting to envy you. If I and then there's going to be uh, mm. some dialogue I... here and a bunch of other stuff. Yes. Which I'm just going to skip through so I don't waste your time in this video. And that really is all there is to it. There's no point in me uh, going through the rest of the video or going through the rest of the quest in the duration of this video. Morkvark broke through this door. 
I showed you how to use the puzzle it. and where the two uh, routes go, and then also gave you uh, the pause piece for my website if you would like that up on your screen at all times. But aside from that, that's really all I need to uh, teach you guys. So I'll catch you guys around in future Witcher 3 videos. Peace.